يعني واحد من الصحفيين اللي موجودين في راديو ماركا اللي هيكلمنا بشكل اكبر عن المباراه وهو انطونيو فيسكاري الصحفي براديو ماركا مستر انطونيو هاو ار يو فيرست اوف اول اند ويلكم اون الاهلي تشانل ثانك يو فيري ماتش هيلو هاو ار يو ايفريثينج از فاين يا ثانك يو اوف كورس وي ويل توك اباوت ذا كلاسيكو بين برشلونه اند ريال مدريد اند اي وونت تو اسك يو دايركتلي دو يو ثينك ذيس جيم ويل بي ذا فيرست جيم اند لاست جيم فور لوبيتيجي اف هي لوز Well, we all know that the coach of Real Madrid comes in a in a very bad time, very questioned uh, by the group, also by the public. But the players are are with him right now. So uh, as we have seen during the the last statement of the Real Madrid players, mm -hmm. they have supported the Spanish coach at all, and uh, we know that he will sit for sure on the bench on Sunday in Barcelona. He will that he will be the last. So this is football. It depends for for the result. And undoubtedly, he will have to make many decisions. Mm. Among them, if he wants to play with Vinicius or not. Mm. Uh, only Lopetegui has Carvajal absence. Mm. But Julian Lopetegui plays at the Camp Nou, but he's not the only one. Eh? The Real Madrid coach arrives in Barcelona with uh, broken days, you know, not mm. good for, for Real Madrid, for Baran, for Bale, for many other players that they are not good in the, in the best moment. Mm. Uh, I will translate. to the audience and I'll be back to you. طبعا في البدايه سالته هل تعتقد ان مباراه برشلونه هتكون الاولى والاخيره لوبيتيجي في قياده ريال مدريد؟ اتكلم قال ان لوبيتيجي عنده يعني ضغوط في الاختيارات هل فينيسيوس جونيور هيكون موجود في المباراه ولا لا؟ المباراه على الملعب الكامب نو وبالتالي اكيد مباراه صعبه جدا لكن اكيد النتيجه هي اللي هتحدد ايه اللي ممكن يكون موجود. السؤال الثاني هساله طبعا على المتوقع من المدربين اللي يكونوا موجودين. Uh, do you think that uh, uh, Conti will be the next coach of Real Madrid if Mr. Florentino Perez sacked uh, Lopetegui? Because we heard in the Spanish press that Conti, there is a contact between Conti and Florentino Perez. Yeah, you know, in this type of uh, situations, we we heard too much things. Uh, we heard that Gazzetta de los Sport. told that Conte will uh, get out from Chelsea and have an agree with Real Madrid. But uh, we don't know. In the Spanish, in the Spanish media, uh, they agree. Some media radios, Cadena Cope told that, uh, that Cadena Cope is a main radio, important radio, told that, yes, that it is an agreement. But they have to talk more. They have to stand the economic basis from the, from the statement. So let's see what will be. The, the club now is thinking in Lopetegui. And now it's Barcelona in, in, uh, after tomorrow. So I think for the moment, they don't want to, to the media half name. But yeah, that's true. There is an interest. Yes, for but also the other Spanish uh, release, some news about Mourinho. We all, we, all, يعني we all heard this news, but I want to make sure from you. Is it, is it Mourinho? We can see Mourinho or the nearest one is Conti. Because, you know, Mourinho has uh, Mourinho has an old relationship uh, with uh, Florentino Perez and he already was the head coach of Real Madrid and now he had bad performance with Manchester United so in the coming few days we can see Mourinho out of Manchester so what what will happen in the market of Real Madrid Conti or Mourinho I also I want to know your opinion who will be more useful to Real Madrid Mourinho or Conti in my opinion obviously Conti Mourinho, Mourinho, Mourinho destroys uh, Madrid. <laughs> He was there. That's true. They destroy all the Spanish hegemony in Barcelona. So, you know, 70% of Madrid people now that uh, Mourinho doesn't want to be the, the trainer. That's true. That he has yes. a competitive uh, way to, to play. But hmm. Mourinho hard very much to, to Real Madrid. So I don't know. I think that Mourinho don't going to sit in the bench more anymore. Yes, okay, I will translate and I'll be back to you again. Perfect. So, uh, طبعا سالته سؤالين uh, على كونتي هل هو كونتي اقرب uh, مدير فني ممكن يكون موجود في حال ان uh, لوبوتيجي uh, يتم uh, اقالته؟ قال لي uh, طبعا حصل بعض الكلام ما بين كونتي وبين فلورنتينو فيريز زي ما هو مكتوب في الصحافه لكن ما فيش حاجه مؤكده كله هيبان بعد المباراه، لكن سالته ايضا على خبر ثاني موجود في الصحف العالميه والصحف الاسبانيه ان مورينيو ممكن يكون كمان هو اللي موجود بعد ما 
لو تمت اقالته من فريق مانشستر قلت له انت تفضل ايه هل شايف موريني ولا كونتي حد منهم يكون موجود الافد لفريق ريال مدريد قال لي كونتي هو اللي يكون افد مورينيو كان موجود قبل كده وطبعا دمر ريال مدريد ودمر الكره الاسبانيه ودمر الاحتفال اللي كان موجود في الكامب ودمر حاجات كثيره جدا موجوده في الفريق وبالتالي هو بيفضل كونتي لريال مدريد يعني مستر انطونيو اولسو وانت اسكو ابوت نيمار نيمار ذير از رومرز ايفري وير ذات هي ويل بي ان ريال مدريد نيكست سيزون ويز ا بيج اماونت اوف ماني Do you support uh, transfer Neymar from Paris Saint-Germain to uh, Real Madrid and he can do it or uh, the management in Paris Saint-Germain will refuse any offers to them? You know, la last days, these two, three days now, uh, telling that Neymar Madrid, now he's telling to maybe Neymar is get back to Barcelona, mm. you know? But, uh, but uh, Neymar on his Instagram, official Instagram, he said all of these news are rumors. about transferring him from Paris Saint-Germain to Barcelona. So I don't think so that he will transfer to Barcelona. But now, we know that, uh, know that Real Madrid have a lot of money. They want to, to, to spend it well. We have two options, Hazard or Neymar. But Neymar is the, is the strongest opinion in, in, inside Real Madrid. You know, if Neymar wants to leave to PSG, yes. Neymar will go to Madrid, that's for sure. They will not back to Barcelona. I will tell you why, because... Mm. Uh, Barcelona gets uh, when he goes to Paris in search for a ring that uh, the moment he was not coming yes. because other players stand out more than the Brazilian that's yes. bad luck to have an injury that made him not get well at the World Cup in Russia mm. so the club is uh, very hard by his departure because as I said Ronaldo was uh, able to return Ronaldo I'm telling about the phenomenon because you remember he was able to return to Barca but Juan Gaspar he was the president of of uh, Barcelona, mm. who don't want it to come. So I think that's Neymar the same. The club is hard. Neymar wants to come to Barcelona because he missed Arthur, he missed uh, Messi, he missed uh, Luis Suarez. He wants to be with South American players. Mm. But Neymar knows that if he wants to get out from PSG, that mm. he will go out. Not this year, maybe mm. the next one. Next year. But, but, but the near club for Neymar is Real Madrid, not Barcelona? I think so, because I know that Neymar gets back, get back to Barcelona, but The club doesn't want because they had. Yes. I remember in a press conference, yes. our uh, president told Neymar mm. won't go to Paris Saint Germain mm. 200%. Mm. <laughs> And Neymar went. Yes. Yes. So that's not good for Barcelona. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. سألتوا على أيضا موضوع نيمار هل تعتقد إنه ممكن ينتقل إلى ريال مدريد في الفترة القادمة قال لي نيمار عايز يخرج من باريس سان جيرمان مفيش أي شك من الكلام اللي بيتقال لكن برشلونة ولا ريال مدريد في كلام بيتقال إنه على برشلونة وعايز يرجع تاني مع اللعيبة البرازيليين اللي موجودين بنتكلم أيضا على ريال مدريد إن هو ممكن يكون موجود في ريال مدريد ريال مدريد هو يعني قادر إن هو ممكن يدفع مبلغ نيمار كمان بنتكلم على رئيس برشلونة وإن هو بنتكلم على حته الشخصيه وبنتكلم على على التصريح اللي اعلنه قبل كده ان ان نيمار هيكون موجود في برشلونه 200% قبل قبل ما يمشي وبعد كده اتفاجئنا ان هو مشي وبالتالي ممكن تكون دي من بعض الثغرات اللي, اللي تمنع رجوع نيمار الى برشلونه لكن نيمار بيتمنى ان هو يكون موجود لكن ازاي هيكون التعامل من قبل الصحافه الاسبانيه والجمهور. Finally Mr. Antonio I want to know your expectations about the match between Barcelona and Real Madrid on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for uh, 15 p.m. Cairo time, also Spanish time, yes. and, uh, which undoubtedly has two very important absence. I know that you know, and all the people know it, that uh, after almost 10 years, San Cristiano, San Cristiano came to Real Madrid in 2009-2010, and 32 games after, no one of the two cracks, Messi and Cristiano, won't be in the match. So what can I tell you about the Clásico? I know that Barcelona arrived in a good moment because Barcelona is making good play. Not at the best moment, I remember, but Real Madrid came in back very, very bad. You know, uh, Victoria Pilsen just won 2-1. It's like uh, in the Li La Liga, it was like eight hours without scoring any simple goal. But it was so, so impossible. And uh, I think that if I have to bet any money to any of the two teams, mm. I will bet in Barcelona. But 
That's not meaning that Barcelona will win because you know in Clásico it's always very, very, very complicated yes. to expect any result. Yeah, Mr. Antonio, thank you so much for being with me on the Ali channel and good luck. And of course, we will all watch the game on Sunday. Thank you so much. That can Antonio Vizcari, Sahafi, Radio Marker. Another question to ask you about the match between Barcelona and Real Madrid. The match will be between the two teams, Ronaldo and Real Madrid, and Messi and Barcelona. But he expects that the victory of Barcelona is the closer. But the expectations are not the same in the match against Clasico. The last time we saw the match against Clasico, before that, there was Barcelona and Real Madrid on the other side, and it happens the opposite from the match. سيناريو المباراة ده حال كل المباريات القوية بنتكلم على الكلاسيكو بنتكلم على حتى هنا أهلي وزمالك بنتكلم على في انجلترا مانشستر ومانشستر أو مانشستر وتشيلسي أو تشيلسي وليفربول ما فيش حاجة بتكون متوقعة في المباريات الكبيرة يبقى حالة اللاعب يوم المباراة والتوفيق طبعا بتاع ربنا هو اللي بيكون الفيصل في أحداث اللقاء لكن اكيد ما فيش شك انها تكون مباراه ممتعه ما فيش شك ان كلنا هنتابع المباراه الهامه والمرتقبه يوم الاحد الساعه 5 وربع بتوقيت القاهره. نروح بقى عشان الوقت بيجري مع حضراتكم بسرعه نروح الى الفيديوهات والكواليس اللي بتكون موجوده معانا هنا في وورلد سبورتس ونبدا معاكم بمباراه مانشستر يونايتد ومباراه يوفنتوس واللي بتشهد عوده رونالدو الى ملعب الاولد ترافورد وكلنا شفنا ازاي رونالدو